To do the animations mini project first, we're going to cover how to get an image with a transparent background. So in Google Images, click Tools, click Color, click Transparent. Then from here, click Size, click Icon. Then from here, you're going to click on the one that you want. You're then going to two finger click, choose Save Image As, then give it a name that makes sense. And then from here, click save. Next, go over to code. And then from here, what you're going to do to add the picture you saved, click animation, click new animation, click upload image, and then you would choose your image. Now, I already have the three images that I want. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back over to the code tab. From here, I'm going to go onto the sprites menu. I'm going to set a position and animation for each of my three sprites. From here, what I'm going to do once I've done that is I need to name my sprites. So in lines one and two, I'm going to have the backdrop sprite. In lines three and four, I'm going to have my noodles sprite. In lines five and six, I'm going to have my Among Us sprite. From here, I'm going to choose my animations. Next, you're going to click on World, add the draw function, and then add the draw sprites block to go inside the draw function. Remember, we create our sprites outside the draw function everything else goes inside just because we only want one of each sprite. Click run to see what it looks like. Next, we're going to need to change the position. So if I move my pointer, I can come up with good positions. Um, if I click on um, reset, I can see it a little bit better and you'll see how it comes up with the X and Y wherever I'm moving my pointer. Now, in this case, I already decided what I want my X and Y to be just for the purposes of this video. So I'm just going to put in the X and the Y that I want and then click on run. Next, what I'm going to need to do is add my animations to actually move my sprites. So I would do that by clicking on the sprites menu. The first thing I wanna do is make my noodles rotate. So I'm going to click and drag a sprite rotation block. I'm gonna say noodles rotation click math to finish the rotation. In this case, I'm going to do a random number between minus five and plus five, which is going to make it move slightly to the left and the right. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, an animation that makes my imposter or Among Us character move upward. So I'm gonna do that with a sprite Y block. I'm gonna say Among Us dot Y is equal to among us dot y minus one. If I hit reset and run, you'll see that my among us character is moving up towards zero ever so slightly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up by putting in another number like two. If I hit reset and run, I can see it move twice as fast. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna make my Among Us character rotate. I do that by clicking and dragging a sprite rotation. I'm gonna say Among Us dot rotation equals Among Us dot rotation plus two. And we'll see if two works out well. If I hit reset run, that looks pretty good. Okay, so then the last thing that we need to do is we need to add some text. Click on drawing. You're going to choose a fill color. So you dip your paintbrush in the paint. I'm gonna to happen to use yellow. Then from here, I'm going to specify the text size. So just like you would specify the text size before you type in a document, I'm gonna do a size of 16. Then from here, I'm going to add in my text. I'm gonna have two separate text boxes. So I'm gonna add two of the text string blocks and I'm gonna put in my little joke.
what you call a fake noodle an impasta all right and then the last thing i want to do is if i hit reset again taking a look at my pointer i can decide where i want to position my text now for the purposes of this video i already decided where i want it um but anyway that being said once i have positioned my text then i'm going to go ahead and hit run again now the reason that you need to have your text in the draw function is because remember that because draw sprites is in there it's drawing the background over and over and so likewise when we're drawing the background over and over it's like a new sheet of paper and so on each new sheet of paper we need to have our sprite drawn with our rotation and y movement and our text